Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mork, and I'm a little bit hungry. Am I the only one who still eats Cocoa Crunch? In my opinion, this is still the best breakfast out there. Maybe second to pancakes, but other than that, Cocoa Crunch is the best. And it's crazy how we, uh, each of these cereal things has changed. Now it has it in the shape of Cocoa, that koala character. I'm actually lactose intolerant, but I still love milk. As long as there's a toilet nearby, I'll be fine. So if you guys remember, I've been complaining about this crappy grinder that I have, the coffee bean grinder, and I've just been using this. As you can see, it's already beat up. The paint is already coming off. So I don't know if you remember Edward. Edward was the one who gave me these, uh, forgot the brand, Bodum coffee cups. He is the one who also gave me this um, Hario what is this called? Coffee Mill Smart G. So I recently got back into skateboarding. I don't know if you guys know the difference, but longboarding is not skate. It is skateboarding in the sense of a different discipline, but I had no option but to stop down to longboarding, right? Because I'm just, well, I was just a little bit busy with work. I just had to find a different way to skate. So I, I started skateboarding again. So I was skating a size 7.75 and I, I couldn't do my trick so well. I used to skate a size 8, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just the width of the board. And yesterday I just went to HKIT skateboard shop here in Hong Kong and get, got myself a new deck. This is a size 8.125. <laughs> and I put some, I don't know if you can see that, oh, thunder hollow lights. Uh, yeah, I love this board so much. It was very interesting. I was in the shop yesterday and um, just when I was about to pay for the skateboard, I saw that they have these string skateboard bag. And I asked the shopkeeper, hey bro, can I have a discount for it since I bought a complete? And he said, how about this? If you can do a kickflip with your new setup within three tries, I'll give it to you for free. And when I heard that right away, uh, I stood on top of the skateboard and did a kickflip. Kick I was pretty stoked on that. He gave me a free bag. I think the only thing that's keeping me from getting fat is skateboarding. Skateboarding is a very strenuous activity, believe it or not. It's not just an extreme sport. It is very strenuous. Whenever I skate, the next day, my my legs are just toast. And my stomach, the ab region, is just so painful the next day. I wanted to share as well. As you guys may know, I like to share and encourage people here on my channel. It's not just about gear. I wanted to minister to you guys as well. So I wanted to share about the topic for today, which is it's okay to say no. I think if you really love somebody, or if you are in a relationship, or or maybe you are a daughter or a son, and you get used to this pattern of just saying yes to your dad or mom or to your spouse, it can be a little bit unhealthy. Because maybe you're thinking that if you always say yes, it is a perfect example of how to show your love to that other person. But actually, it's not like that. For example, Claire and I. Just because Clara is my spouse doesn't mean that everything she says I will just say yes because I love her. There is a fine line between saying yes and just completely objecting. If I don't like what she said or if I don't like what she's doing, I will say no. Or if one of my students are little kids, they may see me as a very sweet teacher. I am um, very friendly. I don't really know how to get angry. Let's pretend that they do something something wrong. They know my limits. They will. They will. My students already know how much they can poke me and play around those limits but yeah I will at most of the time I will say yes but I will eventually say no if I already notice that there is something that is not acceptable so yeah I just wanted to encourage you guys so let's pretend that your dad or mom is very strict and then you fall into this pattern of always just saying yes because maybe your dad is raising his voice on you and you feel like oh I'm scared now so I have to say yes right so it's okay to say no. There's nothing wrong with saying no. It doesn't take away from your character. It doesn't take away from your respect for that person. Remember that. It doesn't take away anything. So yeah, so I know it's complete, very random for me to share something like this, especially on this channel. But I feel like somebody really needs to hear this. I grew up in a very strict household. Um, my dad was a little bit too over the top when it comes to being strict. So whenever he wants something, he will just raise his voice, right? And here I am, this tiny guy will just have to say, okay, yes. I'm not bad-mouthing him. I'm just 
stating my experience with this. I just admire parents who can talk to their kids very gently and the kid will respond with, with respect. <clears throat> I've decided that I am not going to be that parent who raises his voice on his kids every single time that they, there is a, there's friction. Because there's, there are a lot more ways to discipline, there are a lot more ways to, to correct your child rather than just raising your voice. So yeah, that's my encouragement for you guys today. Actually, I haven't planned anything up for this. I don't have notes, I have nothing. I'm just clearly speaking from my heart. Yeah, I love you guys. Just remember that it's okay to say no. Okay, I'm done. This one is a $70 grinder. I'm not sure how much this is. I'm sure not $70. Wow, look at that. No force at all. My veins are not coming out. <laughs> no way. No Oh my goodness, there's no water. I just found out there's no water. <sighs> Forgot to refill the water kettle. Okay guys, I need to go. I mean, I need to boil some water so I can drink some coffee. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the things you do uh, by watching, by commenting, by liking the videos. I appreciate you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.